Welcome back to the farm, everybody. The rain has finally stopped here in March, so we are now in the field getting everything ready as planting season is quickly approaching as we're now here in March. I'm just doing the, the edges here a little bit on this field, and then I'm going to get uh, somebody to come out here and help me, and then I'm going to go over and do a different field. We're going to get two discs going at the same time here, because what I have decided is that I'm actually going to go ahead and use all four fields. Uh, we're in the uh, business of making money here and seeing the uh, potential price of soybeans. I've decided that I'm going to go ahead and do two fields of corn and two fields of soybeans here in the spring um, just so we can get uh, some income going. That way we'll have um, one field of corn that we can use for silage and another field that we can use for high moisture corn for our uh, cow feed. And then we'll have the two fields of soybeans that'll solely be for profit. Um, and then probably next year I'll probably do oats instead of wheat. Uh, just because I can get a better price right now uh, on the oats than I can for the wheat. But I'm also going to look at uh, one of the things that I was noticing on this map is it has an option to do um, what's labeled as short season soybeans. So... Um, going to attempt to plant some soybeans over the top of the wheat stubble once we get that part done. So what I'm going to do now here, let's see if this will work. I'm going to try to get a little bit of an angle going here on this so I'm not going straight on with the area that I plowed. But I don't know that if when I hire a worker, it'll follow the same line, so I'm just going to keep disking here for a little bit uh, on this field, and then we're going to see what happens. I think I'm going to, you guys can hang out with me, we're going to do this little part here to the left, and then uh, what I'll do is I'll get Elliot or somebody out here to help me out, and then we're going to go do some old time old time disking over on one of these other fields next to us. One of the things that drives me crazy about this game right here, the dirt model, like I don't mind the equipment getting dirty because that's realistic, um, however I don't know many farm implements that got this dirty on the inside of the cab, um, but hey it is what it is. tracks behind it was you guys saw there in the opening of the uh, rain that we got here at the beginning of the month oh, it looks like I uh, didn't go very straight there while I was sitting inside the tractor we'll have to come back and get that um, the field is still in the process of drying out maybe a touch wet but uh, it's working so we're going to keep going here but you can see the tracks that I'm leaving behind there when I turn around So, and then you come back to this end of the field, and my tracks from the last time I turned around have disappeared. So we're going to use uh, the 70-20 here to knock out these two bigger fields, and then uh, you're going to see what I'm going to go do here in a second while uh, Elliot comes out here and helps out the 70-20. on this game 
you guys are gonna come along for the ride on this one. We're gonna try to use the hire a worker function to see if it will follow this angle that I've started on. And if not, then I just have to go straight on. do is we get it lined up right here and we hit this button let's see what happens it wants to do a different angle but that's all right we will, we will go with that so we're gonna ride along here let's see let's see uh, I don't know what's going on here this is this is the ballad that, or the uh, trial and error of using hired workers in this game. This is not me driving, this is the AI driving and farming right now, so let's see if you can find his line here. I don't know what he's doing. This is why I end up doing everything by myself. Where are we going, dude? Idea what we're doing here. Alright. So it's going to turn in the big circle. So it's going to turn back. Alright, he found his line back. Now is he going to drop the disc? Oh, look, we might have it. Oh, back up first. Let's see. Alright, that's not the most conventional way of turning around, but he got it. So I'm going to get down here to the end of the field and we're going to jump out and let him do his thing and then we're going to go have some fun. I'm going to stay in here and watch him attempt to turn around here and see how this goes. Well, that one was better. Is he going to do a crazy eight this time though? No crazy eight on that one, all right. All right, now, let's go have some fun. Because over here, I got our other disc ready to go. Uh, probably not gonna record this whole field, but uh, I'm gonna try to break this video up and get some of the field prep and some of the planting here. I'm just walking. I could run, but I feel like walking today. What do we have over here? Well, we have the 720. Ready to go. A little, <laughs> you can see, uh, or no, not the 720, 830. And as you can see, we got uh, quite a bit of mud on us getting out here in the rain. I actually drove the tractor out here while it was raining, so I almost got stuck in the field. That's why I'm covered in mud. But we are going to drop this disc and see if this thing can pull this. We're going to do some old school tillage here. Just let you guys ride around with me here a couple times through the field, and then I'll probably uh, do some Sure, editing and jump ahead to planting. We do have the 5020 over there in the shed hooked up to the planter, ready to go. We just gotta throw some seed and some fertilizer in it, and it'll be ready to go. Six mile per hour, it's going pretty good here. Um, Based on what the what the game said, the, uh, the way the the horsepower rating on this disc, the way that it was built into the game, is right at the peak of the horsepower of this tractor. So we're trucking along. We do not own this field up here across the way. That is actually one of the neighbor's fields, so that is not ours. We do though have the wheat right here, so the wheat's coming along. We got a 95% weed weed bonus or yield bonus right here at 100% fertilized, no weeds. 
So that wheat should turn out pretty good for us. Gonna go uh, one more time through the field here with the disc. And then we'll probably, uh, I'm at 10 minutes already, so I'm trying to keep this video from not being too long, too boring. So go one, one more time through the field here with the disc. Get our angle in here. And then what I'll do is jump ahead to planting. You can see over there those white specks you see off to the right, those are field stones. Um, every once in a while I forget to turn that off. That is a feature that's in this game. I know there's some areas in the United States where they have to pick their rocks out of their fields. We never had to do that on our farm in Nebraska growing up. We never had to go up and uh, pick rocks out of the field. So I have that feature turned off. I just believe that this field was already plowed before I did that, so there's field stones that show up. It'll actually, you don't have to pick them up out of the field, the game will still work. Um, but if you look down there on the bottom right where it has the little wrench, um, it will cause damage to the equipment. So, it's just a little, little fun simulator inside the walls there. Alright, well, I'm going to turn around here at the end of the field. That's going to be all you're going to get for the tillage work now because I want to save some time for the planting of the soybeans and the corn. So I will be back probably in April because I'm pretty sure that the game will not let me plant either my corn or my soybeans in March. I'm going to have to wait till April, so we will be back when it's time to plant. to April and it is time to get some seed in the ground so we're gonna get the truck over here we got a little extra seed and a little extra fertilizer in the back of it uh, so we're gonna go ahead and get this over here we're gonna go ahead and put corn on these back two fields over here and then I think we're going to put the soybeans over here on the front two fields as, oh, I lose control there and take out some wheat. Gotta love it. So we're going to go ahead and park down here. We're going to put corn on these two fields down here at the far, far end, like I said. And then we'll get the wheat up for, or the beans uh, closer. So now we get to run back up to the farmyard, grab the tractor. The wheat is actually looking really good. However, now it's saying down here at this end, my yield bonus is only 58% because it's only 50% fertilized. When I looked in March, it said 100% fertilized over there on the other end. So I don't know what we got going on here. You can see right there. Yep. One of the things uh, you can do in this game is drive over your crops and kill them. So the grass there is, or the wheat there is looking good. I'm going to go over here and check the grass field, see how that's coming along. Um maybe here in May after we get all everything planted we can get a cutting of grass off to start making some cow chow oh yeah that grass is looking like it's coming in really well so yeah <laughs> maybe end of May beginning of June after we get all the planting done might be able to get some of that out so we're gonna jump in here now Oop. I got the 50 20 in here warming up ready to go Got some fertilizer and whatnot in there already. Get this bucket out of the way that I just ran over with the pickup. But we got our planter here with uh, seeds and fertilizer in it. It's a 694 planter. It only requires 40 horsepower, so if I wanted to, I could grab the 830 and plant with that again. But we're going to go ahead and do the 5020. Uh, Probably show you a few rounds here of putting the corn in the ground and then I might jump ahead to May to putting the soybeans in the ground, but we'll see um, how far this takes us. So head down to the field here real quick. So we got 900 liters of 
seed and 800 liters of, or er, 900 liters of fertilizer and 800 liters of seed in here right now. I'm gonna turn a little short here, not take out more wheat. Um, I don't know what's going on. I have the mod on here that's supposed to show everything in standard me measurements instead of the metric system, but sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. I might have accidentally taken it off. I don't know. Just deal with it. So we're in leaders in this episode. Next next episode we might be back in bushels. Who knows? So we're gonna go ahead and get lined up here. Now I'm not using GPS. I'm gonna do this the old-fashioned way with the markers. If I can remember, oh that opens it. That opens that. There we go. Plant her down. That should, that's a nice deep trench we're leaving over there. All right, let's see what happens here. We are rolling and we are not putting any seed in the ground. All right, I'm trying to remember which button I forgot to push here. Some of these planters, you have to, there we go. You have to turn them on. It's one of the things in the game. You have to turn the, the, the planters on and off. There we go. Now it sounds like we're putting seed in the ground. There we go. All right, we're gonna stop, get out. Let's check our depths. Find some seeds. Looks like everything is set up pretty good. I'm getting a uh, a drilled texture instead of a planted texture, but hey, it is what it is. Nice deep trench being left by the marker, so I know where to go on the way back. So, all right, let's jump in and let's get some corn planted. I ended up. Um, uh, completely disking this field right here with the 830. Um, it took me the same time to do one field with the 830s. It took the 7020 to do two fields over there, but hey, we got it all done. Now we're putting some corn in the ground. Not, this is interesting. It is not acting like it's putting any seed in the ground. So my fertilizer is going down but my seed is not we got something interesting going on here I'm gonna have to figure this out real quick oh wrong button again let's see what did it say that oh it says there's corn in the ground all right well there's corn in the ground and it's fertilized so just on the uh, graphic down there it says we're still at 99% on the seed so I guess we're putting in a lot more fertilizer than we are seed so now let's see how well this works should be able to just line up right here on my trench and have a go at it looks like it's working I've noticed uh, some of the other implements, I've done this before, and sometimes when you use the markers like this, it doesn't actually line up right on the middle of where you need to be. I like to get some realism and, and plant from the inside of the cab for you, but I gotta keep popping out every once in a while just to make sure that we are not making skipping any gaps there. but. Looks good there. Now we're down to 799 liters, so glad that I got a lot more fertilizer in the back of that pickup than I do seed, because it looks like we're going to run out of the fertilizer first. Here to the end. Pick up the marker. Pick up the planter. Turn around. Do it again. Not 
not much to it just back and forth and back and forth keep an eye on everything back there sounds good looks good turn on the radio over here listen to the market prices because uh, if they keep going the way they're going I'm definitely gonna stick with my decision to do two fields of soybeans instead of one and then that's also two fields that will have that we can go corn onto the soybean stubble next year. Um, get that uh, little bit of fertilizer from the uh, fertilization from doing the crop rotation. So. couple more rounds here and then uh, I'll probably edit the video uh, one more time so that I can record a little bit of the soybean planting um, but there's not much entertainment value in this Hopefully here in the fall after we sell the soybeans and get uh, some hay and silage in the silos, we'll be able to get some cows and then there'll be a little bit more content for you guys because then I can start feeding the cows and hauling milk to town. And then as we make money, I know I've said in previous videos, we are going to upgrade some equipment. Um, but we're going to slowly... Um, work our way through time uh, so like I said I'm starting with 60s and 70s equipment here eventually we'll move up to the 80s uh, but like I said right now I have my eyes on potentially a, a 4440 tractor maybe a 6600 combine to replace the 105 um, but then uh, also looking at possibly a John Deere 7000 series planter uh, probably still six row but a little bit newer technology than what we have here um, but we gotta make some money first we're down to 115,000 that's just from paying utilities and, and taxes and bills and whatnot after March plus um, I think we ended up spending somewhere between seven and eight hundred dollars on the paycheck for Elliot who came out and helped us with the tillage as well. So every time I guess my fingers are too big because I keep hitting the button to open the lids on the planter when I switch my markers there. I guess you can kind of see there you can kind of see the tire tracks that kind of line up with where the rows would be uh, but like we're getting more of a of a drill texture than a planted texture it's just somehow sometimes it just depends on who created the the equipment for the game and it's the way it's built into the files the way the textures come out on the ground so get to the other end of the field here and I'm going to go ahead and probably cut this clip um, and continue planting some corn for you guys and then uh, probably come back and finish this video up uh, at the tail end of the soybeans. So uh, be back in May. Right, we're back we've made it to early May and now we are in a race against the weather uh, you can see up there in the top right we got some rain coming you can see it in the clouds we are trying we got probably about two rounds left here trying to get these soybeans in to finish the planting uh, to wrap up this uh, episode um, actually impressed 
Um, I didn't record it while I was doing the corn, but when I was doing the corn on the fields that had been cultivated, my marker rows were all over the place. Sometimes it would be wide, sometimes it would be narrow, wasn't always straight. But I'm getting a nice, good, consistent mark on this uh, wheat stubble, and I think that's because it's actually acting like it's plowing up the ground, so it's been a consistent mark every time, so that's been helpful, so that means I should be able to record a little bit from the inside of the tractor here. Just trying to beat the rain, like I said, go out here and look. Everything looks good. Keep the hood ornament right down the middle. And another thing that's helping me out is that the mark is actually almost exactly the width of the hood uh, when I was looking at it from the outside. So it's exact width of the hood, so it makes it easier, easy to stay where I need to be. Get to the end here. Lift her up switch the markers turn it around a couple more times through the field and we should have these beans done get it lined up stop set the planter down and go and this is what I've been doing um, got both corn fields done got this soybean field done um, what I'm going to do after this is I'm going to jump in. The, I'm not going to record this part, but I'm going to jump into the truck and run to town and get some herbicide and some liquid fertilizer. Um, the way this game works, if you've watched any of my other videos where I've been using uh, the precision farming mod, um, there's different things that you can do, such as t to add nitrogen, uh, and pH balance to the soil. Uh, when you don't use that, the game is set up to basically um, you have to get to a hundred percent fertilized in order to get maximum yield. So by, by putting on solid fertilizer while I plant, I'm getting 50 percent, which means I gotta do one more pass of fertilizer uh, so we're gonna do liquid fertilizer with our um, pull behind spray applicator that we have up at the farm um, but that's also gonna overlap with uh, the end of May beginning of June when I gotta get the grass out of the field to start making some haylage um, so we're probably while we run into town and get that liquid fertilizer we are gonna stop by the deal dealership um, they got a couple 4430s and 4440s on the lot out there. We may look at getting a third tractor for for the real crop portion. Um, the 5020 and the 7020 are close to enough right now, but I think I just need one more big rig to make this happen. And I got my pickup in the way there, so I'm gonna have to turn around a little tighter on this one. Should be one more pass through the field. I'm gonna cheat, and instead of turning around and looking out the window, I'm going to use the the drone view to get lined up. And we'll see when we come back where that where that mark puts us, but that should this last round through the field should finish this up for the beans then we will have all our crops harvested or not harvested we'll have all the crops planted and that will be uh, the end of this video uh, like I said then we're gonna run take the pickup into town pick up some fertilizer and some herbicide uh, for later on in the summer stop by the dealership and maybe look at a couple tractors uh, maybe a combine uh, see where the prices are at uh, we have $112,000 in the bank now after uh, some wages paid uh, for help with the tillage and also for uh, some seed and some fertilizer that we had to purchase. 
I actually had to run to town and get one more uh, load of solid fertilizer to have enough for this field. And it looks like we're just going to have a little bit of over overhang there. Um, but I'm just going to leave that for now and call it good. So this is going to wrap up the planting season. Uh, thank you for sticking through. This video is going to be close to 30 minutes. A um, little bit longer than I like, but I've, I've been trying to keep them in the 20 to 25 minute range. Um, but you guys are watching, so I'm going to keep making videos. Um, so once again, thank you for watching. As always, give this video a like, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel to get future updates. And we'll see you next time around when it's time to put on some fertilizer and start cutting some haylage. Thanks for watching.